Hi guys, Flying Fish here, and welcome back to some more Delcon Battle, and we have a brand new Extreme Z area. Uh, this is a ex new Extreme Z area for the Koku and Friends event. This is um, for the two free-to-play units, uh, Int Gotenks and AGL Tarbell. Uh, they just dropped uh, with the Raditz uh, whole celebration, summer celebration, whatever you want to call it whatever it is called i don't know so we've got two new stages here for um tarbel and go tanks obviously and the characters you gotta bring here um are, okay obviously go tanks and tarbel and then looks like just a bunch of goten and trunkses uh okay i think this is like almost every goten and trunks like except for the dokkan fest um leader who kind of aged a bit but that's not relevant right now so okay let's uh let's build a team for this and we're gonna jump right in i'm not expecting this to be hard at all because these uh usually are not so where is my uh we can just change this one um oh yeah yeah thankfully thanks to the amazing update we actually can see only the characters we can bring here that is so amazing the best update they've one of the best uh, quality of life updates they've ever done. So let's see. Um, I think these guys might be the best leader. Gifted Warriors, key three, all sets, 130%. Unless there's like a better one I can't think of that's time limit. Um, what are you leading? AGL, physical. Um, Goten is the leader of Gifted Warriors, key three, all sets, 120%. So if you guys are maybe missing these guys, you could possibly use Goten instead if you have him. Um, what about you? Uh, no. Um, or, or if you don't have him, then this physical Gotenks, probably. Uh, all types key three, all sets, one, uh, just 77%. Let's grab them. Grab you. Um, we have to bring, uh, Gotenks and Tarble. And then... Uh, let's we can bring the tech go 10 here why not um wait who are we fighting here it was this first fight against uh this is tarble okay so we would want um tech characters uh but honestly i don't think it's gonna make much of a difference this is a very strong team we're bringing so i'm imagining he's just gonna get one shot regardless unless we get an awful opening turn like this one in the world <laughs> yeah it's just, uh, this, this is how these videos go uh maybe we can one turn him anyway even with this awful opening uh oh yeah it looks like we uh, he's got four health bars not the craziest amount uh, it seems about normal for these extreme z area stages now i'm not actually sure how good um this the go tanks and tarble are i like don't remember them at all so i'll need to refresh myself by the end of the video uh, oh yeah and link levels link levels very very good all right well we'll jump into the super stage now see how that one goes all right here we go this is the super stage now uh let's see um okay we got a better opening rotation here yeah, thankfully thankfully uh i don't really have much to say right now um these are oh yeah uh you need to get these done for the um uh lr vegeta prime battle uh the what's it um yeah prime battle lr vegeta uh he's gonna be getting his extreme z awakening soon and you're gonna need um tarble and go tanks in order to take that stage on oh my <laughs> Why he look like that though? Why why does he look like that in that shot? Um, but yeah, you're gonna you wanna get both of these guys done. Get Vegeta done. I'm expecting you're gonna need Vegeta uh, in order to clear um, or take on um, Prime Battle Cell his extreme z battle whenever extreme z area whenever that comes out. Uh, if I said extreme z battle before I meant extreme z area because these are easy areas for uh free to play units uh, do we get the same turn again that's beautiful well, i'm re i'm i'm really good at this huh oh well goodbye goodbye go tanks Woo, easy <laughs> yeah nothing nothing to really talk about here these are all like really really easy especially if you have these good leaders for these teams but uh yeah there we go uh let's jump into the super stage now and we should hopefully just one shot them again if we get a good opening please okay we okay we're good we're <laughs> good uh, actually, I think I'm quite interested uh, in Tarble because Tarble is the first, um, you know, he, he's like the first like usable Tarble card in the game. So I'm 
interested to see if they hopefully they make him good. Um, oh yeah, I forgot these go they have go ten and trunks units have like zero link key links. Uh, but yeah, I'm really hoping they make Tarbo good. Uh, go tanks, I don't really care about. We literally already have a Dokkan Fest in go tanks, so there's like kind of no point that he exists. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Woo, there we go. And Link levels, because Extreme Z areas do kind of suck, but they've got some good parts to them, too, like these Link levels. Uh, woo, there you go. Yeah, very exciting, as I, as you know. So yeah, that's all. Just the two stages. Um, you're gonna want to play these a few times. Uh, oh, hang on. Um, oh, there we go. <coughs> Ari, it's okay. <coughs> Ari. <coughs> Ari. It's okay, Ari. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, as I was saying, uh, looks like they finally did update um, these Extreme Z area missions. If you remember before, I mentioned in the video that uh, these originally, uh, there were missions for clearing an Extreme Z area like once, five times, and ten times, but they recently changed it to seven times. and. On Global, we did get this for one Extreme Z area. I think it was the Goku Gohan Go 10 day one. And then after that, it went back to being like the 10 times mission. But that was because the Goku Gohan Go 10 day one was like a global JP first sort of thing. So, you know, we got that early. And then like the future Extreme Z areas had, um, you know, the original. 10 times mission, which they finally, we're finally getting to the seven times missions, which is good. So we don't have to like worry about, you know, if anyone, you, if you potentially get the bonus drop to finish these characters faster, uh, you will you might get all their medals before you clear the mission. And then which case you'd have to play the stage more times and just get more medals you can't use. So yeah, this is good. Finally, finally this is here. That's very, very good. Um, okay, with that aside, let's actually go into our boys Goten. I'm sorry, Gotenks and Tarble now. So let's see. Hopefully, I'm hoping they make this Tarble good. So let's see them. So siblings bond category key three, all stats 77%, or all types key three and all stats 40%. Okay, that's interesting. Um, if you are like grinding link levels or something. Uh, this Tarble could potentially be a good leader for, like, a Link leveling team, because he's leading all types. Even if, though, it's a small buff, uh, you will be fighting, like, Cybermen and stuff, so it, like, doesn't really matter. And then his passive skill, okay, I like the looks of this, changes STR Key Spheres to AGL Key Spheres, and attack and defense 100%. Chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, plus 30% when there's two or more Vegeta's family category allies on the team. That's good that it's on the team and not on the turn. Plus an additional attack and defense 50% when attacking. And chance to evade enemies attack, plus 5% with three or more key spheres obtained. Okay, um... And then plus an additional attack and defense 50% when attacking, chance of evade, plus 5% with 5 or more key spheres obtained. And then siblings bond category allies, key 2, all stats 30%. And then his super attack causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. Hmm, okay. So, I do think this guy is gonna be pretty solid, but he's really... He's really going to need to rely on getting those five key spheres, which might hurt him a little bit because Vegeta's family is that's just such a big team of like so many LRs and units who need key orbs that you might not be able to like afford to give them the tarble and that can hurt you. No, I will not get the software update. I'll do that when I'm ready. Um, then, like, he gets a 40% chance to dodge, which is, like, okay. Um, I mean, it's better than nothing, but they could they could have done more for him. But the, the support he gives is really, really good, though. Uh, GT Vegetas will not be getting that, but um, all Dragon Ball Super Vegetas will. And then his super attack effect. Like, if they have made this, like, raises defense, like, raises all allies' defense for one turn, that would, that would be insane. That would be so good, but, yeah, I don't know. I think he's solid. I think he's gonna be doing solid numbers. Um, absolutely unrunnable in the red zone, like, no way at all. 
Unless he's like dodging everything, like if you build him full dodge. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually the strat, if you want to go for like full dodge on this guy. Maybe it is, I don't even know, I guess he's just... Uh, I don't know, I think he's alright, but like, he, he should have been better. He's not bad though, he, he isn't bad, I'll say that. Okay, now let's look at go tanks. Uh, fusion category key 3 all set 77% or in type key 3 all sets 50% uh, standard extremes the area unit leader skill uh, passive skill attack and defense 50% plus an additional attack and defense 50% for 5 turns from start of turn plus an additional attack and defense 100% when performing a super attack and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super attack which is 30% when facing only one enemy and plus an additional attack defense 50% when attacking if the enemy is in defense down status. And he's raising attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. It, 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 I think they made Gotenks better. I think, I think they might have just made Gotenks better. The attack defense on super is really, really strong. Uh, he's gonna be super strong for the first five turns, I'll say. Uh, and then he launches an additional that has a chance to be a super attack when facing only one enemy, which is pretty common in like, uh, you know, certain difficult events. Uh, the additional attack defense 50% when attacking the defense down enemy is probably won't be too common. Uh, not many enemies are like prone to debuffs anymore, but him raising attack and defense for one turn on super attack is also really good. I think he's gonna be a, a really, a really solid character for, uh, like, the second and third slot, probably. The, what hurts this guy, though, is the fact that he is an Int Gotenks, and we already have an Int Gotenks in the game with the Dokkan Fest, so... I guess they were like, uh, we can make this guy kinda good and it won't matter because there's already a better one? I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, I think this guy's gonna be pulling out the solid stats and stuff. Uh, maybe you could run him as like a the seventh slot option in Super Battle Road. Uh, that way you could probably see the defense down part of his passive active. And with all of this, plus the raising defense on super attack, he could probably tank a normal attack or two. Or at least like not get completely obliterated by it. But I don't know. I think Gotenks might be better. But I think both of these units are pretty solid. They're not bad. I wouldn't say either of these are bad. They're just Okay, uh, there's certainly no great Saiyaman 1 and 2 and um, the April Fools Goku and Vegeta, but they're good. They're, they're, they're all right. So yeah, there we go. Um, regardless, I recommend everyone get these characters done. You are going to need them for Prime Battle Vegeta's Extreme Z Awakening soon. Uh, let me just pull it up here for a second. Um, yeah, you're going to need um, Taba, Tarble, Krillin, uh, Namek Goku, Yardrak Goku, and Boo Saga Goku. So, actually, I guess you don't need Go Tanks, but you might need them in the future for like one of these. So, I do it anyway. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you feel like it. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!